when you hold me Love me and touch me and tell me that you need it You my dog and I'm with you for a reason Keep it real if it's anything you need I be jumping in my car, get no fuck about the speed I'ma do it all I can just to show you that I got ya Sing to you like an opera, babe What's up, ham fam? It's your girl, Desi, and I'm back with another banker. Of course, by the title, you guys know already that I am doing a puppy haul. I am getting a new puppy in about three-ish weeks or so. It's going to be really close to Christmas, so it's going to be a terrific Christmas present for me and Serenity. Charles is not a big fan of small breeds, but he's welcoming smoke with open arms. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're naming the dog Smoke because of the color that he'll be, um, when he's fully grown. Also, um, his last name is gonna be Ham, of course, because he'll be part of the Ham fam. Um, so without further ado, I'm not gonna keep talking. Go ahead and smash that like button, comment down below what breed you think I'm getting, and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're a part of the Ham fam, what's up? Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first. Um, I went puppy crazy. Like, I bought so much stuff as soon as they told me they were born. I went shopping and was like, I need to go to Pet Smart. I need to go to uh, Walmart. I need to go everywhere. So, I got things from puppy. Uh, I got things from um, Pet Smart, Walmart. A couple items from Dollar Tree and just like odds and ends. I ordered some things on Wish the other day. They haven't came in yet. So whenever the uh, puppy gets here, I'll let you guys see those things. It's like a seat belt and stuff like that. But um, it's all, I also bought a crate for crate training since he will not be potty trained when we first get here. Um, when we first get him here. Uh, we bought a crate for him to be able to lay in and get comfortable as well as the fact that I do work every day except for Saturday and Sunday so to prevent him from injuring himself because I don't want him to like chew on wires and it glitch you and stuff and everything. The crate is better and of course I'll be coming home. I can come home very often. So yeah and then Charles will be here and stuff like that. So yeah, that is why we're getting a crate. It's just to prevent him from injuring himself, anything like that. And then to prevent so many accidents around the house because, of course, I'm staying on post. So I'm renting and I don't want to have to deal with all that when it's time to go. So, enough rambling. I'm gonna start showing you everything. But the crate I will not be showing as well as the playpen I won't be showing because it's in the front room. I don't want to get up and go get it. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I got these little cheap bowls right here. They're a dollar. These are just because I really don't know how tall he's going to be when he first gets here because he's going to be so tiny. So I just wanted to get some cheap ones just so when we first get here, he'll be able to eat and drink. But I don't know if these will stay because I heard stainless steel is better. So, yeah, that's one thing. Um, I got these dentist sticks. Yeah, so they are triple action. They're supposed to help with his breath or whatever, but I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not really sure, like, if they're healthy or not. I have been trying to research some things on it. So, yeah, we'll keep doing that. Um, But, yeah, this is sticks because I don't want any stinky breath. Um, I heard a lot about chi being really good for coats. So, I got this small sample pack of chi to see just how it'll be because it's like $20 a bottle. So, I bought this one $20 just to see if it'll actually be good for his coat or not. Um, and all of that came from Walmart except for the chi is at so at PetSmart. Um, these are like some type of rawhide treats, I believe. Um, they are triple flavor twist with chicken. They are oven baked and it has, yep, it's, it's, yes. I'm not really, it's chicken, beef high, pork high, vegetable, and salt. But yeah, uh, it probably won't be when he first starts 
goodness, puppy because his teeth aren't that good. But they told me I need hard treats for puppies because they go through the whole titty phase. So I wanted to be prepared. Um, that came from Dollar Tree, which is a dollar. I got this really hard bone. It says it's really good for puppies. It's long lasting. So we'll see how it is with smoke. Uh, this was like six or seven dollars. It was on sale for like $4 when I got it. But this came from PetSmart. So I got some pepperoni training treats. I went in Walmart and these were the only ones they had at the time. So we're going to try them. I was looking for something that's really small because I want to teach them actual like sit, stay, lay out, stuff like that. Like they're going to try this whole training thing. This is my second pet, but my only, the first pet I wasn't able to keep going because I had to leave. So I had to rehome him. So this will be my first dog that I get to keep long term. So yeah, these were like, I think they're like four dollars. I told you guys I went like crazy. And then I bought a whole lot of different little soft foods. This one is chicken and beef. And we'll just pick them up as we go. I got him this little dog toy. This was like 94 cents. It was like super cheap. I was like, I can't pass it up. But yeah, here it rattles. And then also. So yeah. Also, I got him a lot of different toys. Um got this little rope toy. Said it's kind of fun for them. So we're gonna see it. Smoke actually likes it. Let's hope so. This one was also only 94 cents. This is from Walmart as well. Um, and so with the duck. And then we have this uh freshening spray because they say we can't bathe him like every day. We have to bathe him like preferably every two weeks. So this is to make sure he stays fresh. I'm probably gonna bathe him like once a week, but Um, I got these little tennis balls. They're going to be too big for his mouth when he first comes, but I was just like, they say they're fine. They, maybe he'll enjoy it, even though his mouth is going to be really small when he comes. Um, this is a, the poop bags. It comes with a dispenser and it has a little clip that you can just clip to the leash or whatever. And then it has extra bags. That came from Dollar Tree. Uh, these are the Nyla bones that are supposed to be good for teething. These are chicken flavor. I don't even know how much this one was, honestly. I told you guys I went puppy crazy. Um, so we have a couple different leashes. So initially, I was like, okay, no collars at all. But I know that he'll have his uh, dog tag with his address and everything like that. So I got this one in the hopes that it would fit him this big. So this one should fit him. But I also went and bought a cat collar because they, um, I got a cat collar because he's going to be so little. I don't want him to get stuffed on. So this one has a bell on it and... So that one, and then we have that, and then I have a harness because um, they have a lot of neck problems when it comes to a small breed. You don't want to really pull on the neck because of their trachea. So I got this um, harness, and as you see, it's reflective. But yeah, it's pretty clean. I couldn't find a blue one. I was really trying to get a blue one, but it's an extra, extra small. So really hoping it's gonna. He is so tiny. Like, full grown, he'll be like five pounds. Um, these are some more of these that we bought. Um, these this is a filet mignon, rotisserie chicken with bacon. This one is glazed ham with diced potatoes and gravy. It's like real food, like and then um these are kind of like not everyday type of things, but like hopefully like every Sunday or every couple days. This is porterhouse steak flavor, 
turkey, green beans, and potato dinner and sauce. See, it has like this poop. You can tell the difference because those are clear. And then this one is a grilled steak and eggs. So yeah, he has a breakfast one. So he'll eat breakfast one day when we have Sunday breakfast. Um, also, this is the leash that we got him. It's a retractable leash. Um, it's eight feet. Oh, it says it's a safety collar included. I didn't know that. I don't think it is, honestly. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it is. It's black, but yeah. Learn something new. Um, but yeah, I got an extra small. I don't know if this is a good one. I might just get the little, whatever, like cheap one that's like really lightweight. I don't know. He might not be able to walk on this one with, with how with how small he is. He might not be strong enough to pull on it. But we will see. And then I went and bought him some other nylon bones. This one is different. It comes with three, and. Um, this one is chicken flavor. It's for gentle chewing. This one is um for extreme chewing. It has like stimulants to like stimulate his gums. And then this one is like a um a chew treat. It's bacon flavor. So yeah, let's see how he likes those. And then I initially bought this shampoo. But I heard Hearts isn't really a good brand, but we'll see because it has oatmeal in it and oatmeal is supposed to be good for their coats. I honestly don't know. Like I said, this is my first time off the roof. <sighs> but yeah. And then, so they're so small, it's really hard to find them clothes in stores. Like, it's ridiculous because they're like a pound when you get them. But, so I got this for him. It's actually a wine bottle, like cozy somewhat. It's like a, it says ugly sweater bottle cover, but this is supposed to fit them really well. I'm part of a little group for them and they said this fits them really well. It was only $5. I got this from Five Below and it was only five. No, it was only like, it was only $3, $3. So yeah, you hear Charles in the back. We're probably changing on that and she just went potty. Um, but yeah, Snoopy. And then I got this one because of course he's gonna be best buds with his dad. Uh, this one I got from PetSmart, it was $10. When I spent $10 on a shirt for him, I said, no ma'am, which is gonna be where you get all your clothes from because they're tripping. Cause honestly, I don't think he's gonna be able to fit it, but it was so cute, I couldn't pass up on it. But Wish has clothes for like $2, why would I be paying $10? I can get a shirt at Walmart for myself for five, so. No boo-boo. Ross has them for seven. And then I got him this little bed. It's really soft. It was only five dollars from five below. Yeah, it's only five dollars. So this is just being when he's outside of his bed. And there is Charles. Hey! <laughs> she boo-boo! <laughs> I just told him. I said, "You hear Charles congratulating her." So you boo boo. Tell him. Say, "I'm big girl." Big girl. You boo boo. Say, "How old are you?" Say, two. 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 No, that's one. Where your left hand? Put two. Two. Yeah. I don't know why, but she's better with her left hand for some reason. Mm. And then she's messing with all the dog stuff now. Puppy pad. I'm not gonna train him to use puppy pads, but I'm gonna lie in his playpen with him in case he has an accident. But we're not gonna train with puppy pads. Look at how that shine on him. Yeah, he washed my car, so that's what I'm talking about. Her toys. I hope mom. Now she's gonna keep playing. Thank you. Last thing. I got him some dog food, but I think I'm going to change it. Uh, this is supposed to be a good brand. I'm not really sure. 
It says it's uh, ideal for small breeds, puppies, and seniors. It is very small size, supposedly. And it's grain free. So, in case you have the grain allergy, because it seems to be a problem. But, yeah, we're going to try this out and see how it works. But I'm also contemplating Pure Canine Yorkie. I'm also contemplating uh, Pure Canine line because it's breed specific. But we'll see. Yeah, it's yeah, it's his teeth. Come on, let's say bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, you gotta tell him bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. So we showed you the last item that is our puppy haul so far. As I said, we ordered some things off of Wish. So when they come in, of course, I'm coming back to keep you guys in the loop. But go ahead and smash that like button. Comment down below what breed of dog do you think I'm getting. Hit the subscribe button as well. Because who wouldn't want to see a new puppy come into the ham fam, okay? But she's trying to get down. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say it's the ham fam. It's the ham fam. It's the ham fam.